everybody, Will here from 1459 Studios. Welcome to another episode of Let's Talk Gear. Today our guest is... Matt Parkins from Volsunga Saga. Yeah. Viking metal. Yeah, yeah. Viking metal. Just heathen stuff, you know? Yeah, it's good heathen. times. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Awesome. Well, what's going on with the band, Matt? Uh, we're in writing mode right now. Uh, we're focusing on that. We got three songs done, hopefully out of seven, eight maybe. I'm, we're trying to go a little bit bigger this time. Uh, nothing really on the books as far as shows until April. We're going to do some stuff out of town. So Cool. Well, yeah, you got to get a got to get a new album out. There, your last album's pretty killer, but yeah, so it's yeah, been yeah. a couple of years since that one. Yeah, came out. yeah, we're kind of a we're kind of a slow burn band <laughs> yeah. for sure. Uh, the band's been around for how many years now? Uh, ten years. Ten years. Yeah. So it's 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 been a it's been a it's been a solid run. We got to keep her going. Yeah, oh yeah, for yeah. sure, for sure. <laughs> awesome. Well, we're here to talk about some gear, so why don't we do that? All right. All right. Yeah, cool. Yeah. All right, Matt. So, Marshall. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I've wanted one of these since I was like 12, a half stack, Marshall half stack, so pretty hyped that I have one. It's just a regular old, it's a meat potato setup really, JCM 2000 with a 1968 cab, that's really about it. Yeah. What drove, what, you know, obviously you work at Capital Guitars, which is yep. a really great local guitar store, by the way. Uh, what, what makes you go, I want a Marshall versus EVH versus PV versus Boogie or any of the other cool brands <laughs> I out just, there? I just cheated with my tone. I didn't want to think about it. <laughs> so, like, Marshall's the best. Mm -hmm. it's, I don't know. It's the best kind of distortion to me. I'm not really a Boogie guy. Or EVH is pretty cool. Uh, the old PVs, obviously. But something about this, I just really like one row of knobs. Nothing too fancy, so. Yeah. I mean, they're they're classics for a reason, yeah, right? Yeah. You know, the the JCM series especially, I always thought that the Marshall JCM, the TSLs, I always thought those were pretty underrated as amplifiers, yeah. especially like the like TSL 1000s, JCM 2000s, those kind of those yeah, kind yeah. of things. They're like they're 800 ish, but you don't have to push them as much. Yeah. So well, when I first started up Volsinga Saga for a long time, I was using a uh marshall valve state s80 i think it is oh sure combo amp and i had that forever and ever and some of our first gigs was with it pretty cool but i just need something a little bit bigger better yeah so yeah tubes tubes are always better hate us in the comments it's fine yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> i know i know chuck used one too and that's yeah. all fine and dandy but yeah. for what i do in volsinga saga and really i did this with the guars all we know project pretty versatile amp really oh yeah yeah and it sounds great recorded. It's it was yeah. used on the last record, and I'm sure we'll get used on the next one. It'll be yeah until that thing blows up. Yeah, <laughs> I'll I'll be using it. So there you go. <laughs> and product placement for hams. There you go. Yeah, hams. <laughs> hams beer. The official the official drink of Volsana Saga. Yeah. So, so let's 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 uh, go ahead and talk about your really tiny pedal board. Oh, I gotta help you hold up this really tiny pedal board here, thank buddy. You, thank oh, you, thank you got you, that. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> oh, oh, I know it's too much. <laughs> What's 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 up with your setup here? It's pretty simple. Uh, again, going with the meat and potatoes setup. I really this goes all through the effects loop. It's really simple. Korg pitch black, MXR, phase ninety, and I just got this Jam Man solo. I want to do some weird hippie stuff in between songs and stuff during uh, live sets. So got this, and I usually have a was it a MXR carbon copy. But I have to get it fixed, so it's yeah. getting fixed right now. It's great delay pedal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's those things are really solid. I like how they just feel solid. They got a cool color and it sounds awesome. Yeah. So nothing too fancy. I get all my distortion through the amp. I don't have any pedals for dirt or anything like that. If I forget a chord to bring this to a show or <laughs> it doesn't work, I just unplug it and just go straight in my amp and I'm good to go. So sure. I just want to keep it simple, 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 simple. So makes that's, sense. Yeah, that's about it, really. Nice. Cool. Let's uh, let's talk about your guitars next. All right, so let's talk about your real Gibson headstock repair and everything. <laughs> yeah, this is a 2006 Gibson Explorer. I believe it's a 67 reissue, if I'm remembering correctly. Yep. Uh, yeah, again, pretty simple. I got a Seymour Duncan Black Winter in there. I used to run Invaders for years, like a decade plus, but uh, I want something a little bit more defined instead of just... <sighs> yeah. So I've been really, really happy with the Black Winters. They've been really cool. I got my other V at home and... I have a set of those and uh, yeah. one of my guitars too. Yeah, I really I, like them. I really like them. I'm a passive pickup guy. So again, simple, simple, simple. Uh, I have no idea what's in here. Stock, <laughs> whatever's in there, probably Gibson something or another. 496T, I think. Yeah. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, nerds. <laughs> yeah, and I don't know, so I can't be wrong. Uh, <laughs> yeah, a while ago I had a had a head. It it basically fell flat on the floor, and I got a nice little headstock repair job. 
uh, done by Wyatt Overman mm -hmm. back in the day, and uh, it's really solid. So yeah, and then my daughter's into art, so she made me a mushroom sticker, <laughs> and my son put this on way back in the day. I've had this thing forever. It's my main guitar, my number one. Mm -hmm. I played all but maybe two Will Sing Saga shows with this one, so a lot of miles on it and a lot of relic, and you can see it's oh yeah getting wore yeah. away and. It's, yeah, it's properly loved. As yeah, I, I I really like this. It it feels like just I know it's corny and stuff, but it really feels just an extension. I don't have to think when I play this thing. I like that when they did these cream colored ones too. They used ebony fretboards at the time. Yeah, I I really this is. I remember I told a guy his name I believe Pat at Musical Round in Roseville. I told him my dream guitar is Invader White, you know Gibson, uh, Flying V Invader pickup ebony fretboard, and came into my work one day. He's like. Hey man, any guitars in the shop, so <laughs> I just uh, had to I had to grab it, man. So I've been hyped ever since, and really happy to have it. So it's a beautiful guitar. Yeah, I'm I'm super into it. So awesome. These are definitely my shape. I love them. Very so. cool. Well, Matt, thanks for coming on the old show today. I really no appreciate problem. it, brother. Yeah, man. Cool, and I really appreciate you gifting me with your guitar. Yeah, so, uh, we'll, I don't we'll, know. We'll, we'll see you next time, I think, huh? I'll trade you for that purple one. <laughs> for my purple head. And then I'll just sell PRS. it and get like three of those. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, this thing is pretty cool. Yeah, um, I'd, I'd be really bummed if that went away like in a fire or something. Yeah. So. <laughs> it's, it's your desert or island. If or if he <laughs> stole it from me. Yeah. <laughs> if only somebody had codes to your room. <laughs> so. Damn. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we'll see everybody next time. Thanks a lot. Thanks again. <laughs>